Hello my friends, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to get Sticks and Stones, the Zombies Dark Ops Challenge complete. It is a little finicky at the time of recording this. There's a couple that are just broken for some reason. This one is one that it, it's working for some people, it's not working for others. Either way, I'm going to walk you guys through how I did it. Um, you know, this is going to be obviously before they ever hopefully patch it hopefully they're gonna patch it eventually so you can try to replicate what i did uh and even if you're watching this post patch it's still going to be completely relevant to you as well because again this is just going to be going through how to survive the 25 rounds so what you have to do is reach round 25 solo okay you can't be with anybody you have to be by yourself using only melee weapons so that's going to be like the baseball bat the knife right um and then also combat axes which are by the way are really good really good in this game um and in zombies and then melee macchiato which again is going to be very very good so if you do enjoy this one consider leaving a like subscribe for more we have a bunch of other guides up on the channel try to remember to link the playlist down in the description below for black ops 6 zombies guides and we've obviously done other gaming stuff here on the channel as well so keep it locked for more and let's jump into this so how do we do this well first off like again first things first you got to get the combat axes they are so good i mean it says it in the description right you can use the combat axes but here's the thing you may not know if you load into a game with a combat axe equipped you're only gonna have one but if you go to a crafting bench you have some salvage uh, after a few rounds or whatever you can craft more combat axes and they're also going to drop this randomly from enemies and stuff like that as well so uh, kind of like as you're going through this, you're, eventually you're going to see that you're going to have uh, more uh, combat axes in your inventory just from kind of, you know, picking them up uh, on the ground, you know, when you actually kill normal zombies and whatnot. So there is that. They're really, really good. I mean, they, they could basically one hit very, 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 very high rounds. I mean, it, it's crazy. So you're going to be very, you know, you're just going to be set uh, up until round 25. Now, the one problem is you're going to eventually encounter um, Abomination. Uh, there's going to be an at least one abomination is probably going to be spawning. You don't have to kill it to flip rounds. If you can avoid it, then I mean, obviously, go ahead and avoid it. Uh, so you don't have to kill it, but you could technically kill it with the combat axes. I did. Um, and also, this is worth noting the gameplay you guys are watching up on screen is gameplay that I've done. I did the exact same thing, but this is not the gameplay where it actually popped up for me. I couldn't find the recording where it actually popped up for me, but this is the same thing that I basically did. I'm just kind of going through it. The only thing that I, I did when it actually finally popped up was I did not pick up any power-ups now i would assume that you should be able to pick up power-ups like nukes and stuff insta kills I don't, I don't see why you couldn't but for some reason when i the only thing that changed between a run that didn't count and then the run that did count for me and this again the gameplay you're seeing up on screen is the round that did not count so you might see me picking up power-ups at some point don't do that because the run that counted for me I did not pick up any power-ups. I tried to avoid them. Sometimes it's hard because when you're <laughs> mailing enemies, it just kind of like, it just drops right in front of you. So you got to be a little bit careful about that. And that's also why I like the combat axes better. Again, I think it's just like the, the, the challenge is a little bit finicky. So combat axes is pretty much what I used, you know, uh, almost complete, like entirely. I, I don't, I don't know if I ended up even getting melee macchiato or, you know, upgrading my, my knife or anything like that uh, in my run. But it, do it doesn't say you can't use any upgrades. So you technically could upgrade your, your melee weapon if you go, again, using salvage uh, to the... Um the arsenal terminals or whatever you can go ahead and increase the rarity which is going to make it a little bit more tougher and you could also pack a punch it as well which is going to make it a little bit tougher as well and then melee macchiato i mean basically if you have melee macchiato and if you have a gold rarity knife and it's also a triple pack a punched i mean it's still one hit zombies way past round 100 just to put it into, per into perspective how powerful that combination is so i mean to get the round 25 i mean again you should be good to go uh in that regard now again the run that i i did successfully i pretty much like i mean i, I did some knifing at the very very beginning right at first few rounds when it's like one hit two hit you know the zombies but then when i got you know further in the rounds where it started being like three hit i would just train zombies around and just try to like you know, chuck a, uh, a combat knife through a bunch of, uh, or sorry, um, a, not a combat knife, a combat axe through a bunch of different zombies that are kind of lined up. And then for the manglers, I just be, basically do the same thing. I would just, I would just throw a, a combat axe through uh, the mangler. If I had multiple combat axes, I'd throw a couple through. I would always try to hold on to one. So like, if I had five combat axes, I would try not to throw all of them in case I got into a pinch. I would have at least one on me. So, you know, I would throw four and then hold one. Um, but yeah, with the manglers, I mean, I think like, 
when manglers first start spawning, I think it's like maybe three or four combat axes. And then maybe like when you get closer to round 25, the manglers might take like, you know, five or six combat axe throws. But you can get it done pretty easily. I mean, again, if you just can train the zombies properly, you should be good to go. It's not too, too difficult if you know how to train the zombies. Again, it's only up to round 25 and the combat axes are just are just really OP. And like I said, if you if you take again, my method was I did not pick up any power ups. I didn't, I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't think I upgraded my, my combat knife at all, and I didn't, uh, get Melee Macchiato, even though it says you're allowed to get Melee Macchiato, uh, it doesn't say anything about upgrading your knife, um, it doesn't say you can't do it, so I don't see why not, uh, but like I said, if you, if you're having trouble with it, you can try doing that, or just try to do combat access, like I said, just use that almost exclusively, and, um, you know, they're so OP anyways, you should be good to go, but, again, that's the method I did, like I said, you know, in, 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 in a, in a, in a realistic scenario, you know, all of these dark ops are not, you know, bugged out. They're not, you know, whatever they, they patch them at some point, whatever, uh, to, to fix them in that scenario, then I would highly recommend. Yeah, absolutely. Like upgrade your combat knife for sure. Uh, in this scenario, I'm just saying what worked for me, which I did not upgrade my combat knife. So again, this is going to be like pre, uh, pre patch. If they ever patch it, <laughs> hopefully they better patch it, man. Cause this is not good. Um, and so that's what I did. No power ups. I just pretty much just out of the gate used what I what I had just the you know didn't upgrade anything I did buy some combat axes um <clears throat> just so I could have a couple extra ones uh on me right because you can hold up to five and I, I pretty much just did combat axes it, it's a little tedious but if you keep kind of chipping away at it you should be able to get it done and it should pop and you'll have sticks and stones to reach round 25 solo using only melee weapons combat axes and melee macchiato complete and you're one more dark ops challenge uh, closer to getting the uh, the mastery one, which by the way, I, I will say you only need 15 out of 18 of these dark ops done. Thankfully for the uh, the special mastery one, it says 100% dark ops completion, which is good because the 1 million zombies, I don't know if anyone's ever going to do that. I've been playing hours and hours and hours. I got like maybe three days played in zombies almost, and I only have like 100,000 killed. So that one's going to take a while. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let me know if you have any questions. And, uh, you, you know, if you have any other tips and tricks, leave them down in the comments to help everyone else out. And I hope to see you guys soon. Another one. Tell them, friends. Game on. Catch you guys later. Hey, you. What are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army. Do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is going to fade. That's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised. So you better think about where you're going. And you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kind of like you a little bit. So it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.